Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. We've seen some sunshine peeking through, but it still looks a little gloomy in the White Rose City. That's a live glance off to the uh, south and east. I think we'll see some dry air starting to eat away at some of that cloud cover, but we're not going to completely clear out that sky as we do have some upper level energy beginning to move in and with that cold air aloft we'll have to watch for more developing during the afternoon. You can see all that moisture, a strong nor'easter lifting up the coast and spreading all that rain up in, into a New England. But as we look to the west, we can see snow and that's with the upper level component of the system. The strong upper low going to dive our way as we progress into tonight and eventually Tuesday. And that's why we could be seeing some snow showers. Now, as we zoom back in using live local eight and the rest of the storm team live radar network, we can see some of those spotty sprinkles up across Mifflin and Juniata County. Can't completely rule out a couple raindrops, but the heaviest rain has come to an end. And now the wind is the uh, big story and the flooding. We do have Flood warnings for York, Lancaster, Lebanon and Schuylkill counties. Those are in effect until 430 this afternoon. Now some of those smaller shaded green polygons or boxes. Those are where we're monitoring our area rivers like the Conestoga. So those have outran their banks in some spots. We'll be keeping tabs on that as well through the remainder of the day. Our forecast for the remainder of our Monday, the wind making it the impact period and the flooding temperatures in the middle 40s to around 50. They've been falling gradually with that cold air working in lower to middle 30s tonight with some spotty snow showers around the blustery wind still going to hold with that upper low moving in and that's the story for tomorrow. Much colder though highs right around 40 with still some isolated snow showers on the table. Wind currently is gusting up to 40 miles per hour in Lancaster in the capital city and the wind going to remain elevated through the remainder of the day. You can see it kind of subsides a little bit, but still going to be strong for our Tuesday with that upper low on top of us with gusts still up between 30 and 35 miles per hour or so, which is pulling in that colder air. Only 49 in the White Rose City, 41, one of the chillier locales there in Lewistown for you. It is 50 on the dot in Lebanon, and you can see what the wind will do to us for our Tuesday. Look at our wind chills really stuck around the, the freezing mark, eventually getting into the 20s. So make sure you're bundling up out of the bus stop. You'll want the uh, heavier winter weather gear for tomorrow. Now our news 8 storm team 10 day forecast does show the potential for a lingering snow shower or two on Tuesday. Wednesday, though, high pressure at the surface settling in. Plenty of sunshine highs in the middle 40s. Winter officially begins on Thursday. It'll be seasonable for this time of the year. We are expecting a weak disturbance aloft to maybe bring us a sprinkle or flurry on Saturday. Not expecting much there, but if you were hoping for a white Christmas, it's going to be a green one for us here locally. Jay, it looks like we'll have warmer conditions, but dry for anyone traveling before some more rain arrives on Tuesday. Definitely want to make sure you bundle up those.